length of chord or chord length see what is tangent actually when a circle is there one line is passing through this one there is a point on the circle a line is there this line is a tangent to the circle what is a chord chord means secant whenever a line intersects the circle into two points a and b this is chord we are finding we are not finding equation of chord here we are finding length of chord a to b how much length is there how much unit length For equation of tangent, this is the formula when point is not given to you, only slope is given to you, slope made by x-axis. Or one more tangent is given to you, that time we have to find the equation of tangent. If point is not given, parallel tangent is given or perpendicular tangent. That also we will discuss afterwards. Now coming back to the question, we need to find equation of tangent. Point and circle is given to us. So first thing, what we do to find equation of tangent? We will write formula for tangent. Equation of tangent that is s1 equals to 0. Then we can write s x1 plus y y1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c equals to 0. Now we need g value. g is equals to half of coefficient of x f is equals to half of coefficient of y or you can take 2g is minus 6 2f is 4 then cancel and write it c as it is minus 12 x1 and y1 are point values x1 is 7 y1 is minus 5 these are the things which we need to find from the question then write s1 equals to x into x1 plus y into y1 value plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c equal to 0. Now we have 7x minus 5y minus 3x minus 21 plus 2y minus 10 minus 2y equals to 0. Number of x values, same thing what we have done in first year, same thing we need to do. Minus 21 all are negative, 31, 33, minus 43. Or if any simplification error, you can make it right. So what we have to what we have did equation of tangent s1 equals to 0. So you need to remember the formula GFC values you have to get from equation of circle x1 and y1 from the point. Substitute in this one, you will get equation of tangent to the circle. More three bits are there that you have to try. That I'll give you at the end of the class. Sometimes for circle they give you 0, sometimes they will not give that equal to 0. So point and circle is given, we need to find equation of normal. What is normal? Suppose this is a circle and a point is given to you and line is drawn to the point. This is tangent. What is normal? A line which is perpendicular to the tangent. This line is a normal. 
normal is a line which is perpendicular to tangent so it is related to tangent so what you have to think whenever we are fi finding equation of normal think that we have to find equation of tangent from that from here what we will find first first we will write equation of tangent s1 equals to 0 which is x x1 plus y y1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c equals to 0 then g value g is equals to half of coefficient of x f is equals to half of coefficient of y then c is minus 24 x1 is from point and y1 is also from the point we have to take now x into x1 plus y into y1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0. Now we can simplify this one 3x minus 4y plus x by 2 plus 3 by 2 plus y by 2 minus 4 by 2 is again you can simplify also no problem if y1 is there taking LCM of this one 2 is multiplied if 2 is there we will not multiply anything 48 equals to 0 now count down x value 7x minus 8y plus 1y is minus 7y then 3 minus 52 minus 49 equal to 2 into 0 is 0 now 7 is common in this one 7 1 time 7 1 time 7 7 the 49 this is equation of tangent but what we need actually we need equation of normal to get equation of normal what we have to do is we got this equation we need to find this one second equation so what we have to do we have to find slope of normal slope of normal equals to minus 1 by slope of tangent you should remember this then minus 1 by minus a by b which is b by a so m is equals to a b c b by a minus 1 by 1 which is minus 1 we have m this is circle this is a tangent this is normal what we have we have a slope slope of this line we need point on this line so what is the point we have they have given for this point is equals to 3 comma minus 4 we have slope and point so what is the equation of line now this equation of line is equation of normal y minus y1 is equals to m into x minus x1 so y minus of minus 4 plus 4 m into x minus x1 now if you are good in simplification you can simplify or else you can leave it up to this mark take the numbers to left side one is this is 1y plus 4 minus 3 equals to 0 so x plus y plus 1 is equals to 0 is equation of normal normal is a line which is perpendicular to tangent that's the reason for equation of normal equation we are finding equation of tangent this is equation of tangent once equation of tangent you got then what you have to do is find equation of normal equation of normal equals to minus 1 by equation of because they are perpendicular so product of slopes of two perpendicular lines is minus 1 so slope of normal into slope of tangent is minus 1 slope of normal equal to minus 1 by slope of tangent in that way we got equation of normal
find length of chord intersected by the circle and the line means what there is a circle which is intersected by a line at a and b we have to find the length of a b which is a chord we have to find the length we are not finding equation equation is different length is different so what we have to remember length of chord equals to Two root of r square minus d square. Now, what is this r and d? This is d value, perpendicular distance from center of the circle to the line given. Radius r is radius. Anyhow, this is the radius we need to find. These two things so that it is a right angle triangle. So from the triangle, then uh, what we can do? Deduce this equation. Deduce this uh, formula from that. Now what we have to do is from circle we have to find take g value f value half of this and c value from this we can get center minus g comma minus f and radius radius equals to root of g square plus f square minus c so root over g square 1 by 4 plus f square 9 by 4 minus c plus 22 now LCM, you should be able to find the LCM by your own 88. So 99, 98 by 4, root over 98 divided by 4. You can cancel and write this one. This is our value. We have center and radius. Radius is there. We need D value now. What is D? D is equals to perpendicular distance. From center minus g comma minus f to the line. What is the line given to us? This line is y equals to x minus 3. Whenever such line is given to you, write it in order. This plus y goes that side. Minus y already minus 3 is there, equals to 0. This is the line actually. So, what is the line? We have to arrange in order. 1x minus 1y minus 3 equal to 0. These are values of a, b, c, x1, y1. To find d, you should remember this one. Perpendicular distance from center to the line given. Then you can write on the formula of d. ax1 plus by1 plus c by root over a square plus b square. So a into x1, 1 into 1 by 2 plus b minus 1 into y1 plus c minus 3 by root over a square plus b square so this is 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 minus 3 divided by root 2 3 plus 1 4 by 2 is 2 2 minus 3 by root 2 this is 1 by root 2 outside the modulus that is positive value we have r and d these two values are more than enough to find length of chord or chord length To root of r square minus d square which is r square 98 by 4 minus d square 1 by 2 so this is 2 root over 2 lcm 49 minus 1 is 48 so we will get 2 root 24 units because it is considered to be the length the units are not units so you can write units for this so this is length of chord problem So same three questions are of same type.
interesting one. We need to find the equation of circle with center 2 comma 3 and touching the line. So this is the equation of circle we need to find whose center is given to us and touching the line is given to us. So they are not given radius but by seeing this what you can remember is if I join these two things this will be perpendicular distance and radius both are same. You can write line touches the circle R equals to T. What is D? Perpendicular distance from center to the line. What is the line given? A, B and C. What we have whenever we have center and the line we can have the formula ax1 plus by1 plus c by root of a square plus b square. So what is that a into x1? 3 into 2. This is x1, y1, center. Minus 4 into 3 plus 1 divided by root of a square plus b square. This is 6 minus 12 plus 1. 7 minus 12 is minus 5 divided by 5. This is 1. We got the radius. Once we have radius, we have center, center and radius, e uh, exercise 1, when we have center and radius value, equation of circle will be x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square, x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equals to 1 square, you can simplify and check the answer. Equation of circle with center is given to us and touching y axis. So basically the diagram we can take anywhere. This is the question actually what they have given. Find the equation of a circle with center is given to you and touching y axis. You can also take this y axis here also. Center. Center is minus 3 comma 4. Touching y axis we have taken. So we need radius, this one. So we have radius equals to modulus of x coordinate. When we consider this one, since circle touches y axis. If circle touches y axis, this is x value, this is minus 3. From here to here, 3 units distance. So this is 3 unit distance. Because x is negative, we have to use modulus of minus 3. So that is 3. We have radius as well as center now. So equation of circle will be x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. So x minus of minus 3 plus 3 h k plus y minus 4 whole square equals to r square which is 3 square.
find the equation of tangents of the circle the points of axis are one means what there are points whose axis are given to us how much one axis are ordinate so one is given one is given so we have to find the equation of these tangents at those points so what we have to do when such question is given to you axis are means first we have to write x is equal to 1 equation 1 circle equation we have to write next x square plus y square minus 10 equal to 0 one more question is there in which they have given ordinate is some value 9 3 anything so that time y equals to 1 or y equals to whatever number given substitute both put 1 into 1 plus because the point is on the circle so substitute this one and you will get the remaining coordinate plus 9 y is equal to plus or minus root 9 that is plus or minus 3 therefore points on circle we got now points on circle is 1 comma 3 and 1 comma minus 3 case 1 point on circle 1 comma 3 and what is given to us circle is given to us s is equal to x square plus y square minus 10 equal to 0 so what is the equation of tangent x1 equals to 0 x x1 plus y y1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c equal to 0 so this will be x into x1 plus y into y1 plus g is not there in this one f is also not there plus c minus 10 equal to 0 so this is x plus 3 y minus 10 equal to 0 in case 2 we have point 1 comma minus 3 and circle is x square plus y square minus 10 equal to 0. Now what is the equation of tangent in this case? x1 equals to 0 so x x1 plus y y1 plus g is not there f is not there minus 10 equal to 0. Or those who have not understood this one they can write the formula full formula from here gf values they can find and substitute here. If x square plus y square equal to c square and the line, this is the line, this is the circle intersected a and b. That means a circle is there and the line is there, they are intersecting at a and b. We need to find a b. They have not mentioned equation, so that is length a b we need to find. So if a line intersects the circle, it means that is a chord. So what we have to find? Length of chord. They have not mentioned the name length of chord, just a b they have given. 2 root of r square minus d square we have to find. So r we have to find and center we have to find from the circle first. Given circle x square plus y square there is no x there is no y and minus c square equals to 0. So g is equal to half of x 
f is equal to half of y c is minus c square radius equal to root of g square plus f square minus c so that is c itself we got r center is 0 comma 0 minus c comma minus f once we got the value of r we need d what is d d is equals to perpendicular distance from center which we got already to the line given what is the line given to us x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 x by a plus y by b i am writing in this pattern so that this is a this is b this is c and perpendicular distance formula ax1 plus by1 plus c by root over a square plus b square so a is 1 by a into x1 is 0 plus b is 1 by b into y1 is 0 plus c by root over a square plus b square 0 plus 0 minus 1 is 1 by root over 1 by a square plus 1 by b square which is root over a square b square b square plus a square a square b square is a b in the numerator this is b square plus a square which is our d value what we have asked us to find a b therefore cord length a b equals to 2 root of r square minus d square 2 into root over r square c square minus d square whatever d we got square we have to take but what is the second bit they have given hence deduce the condition that line touches the circle this is the case we got it a b value we got it but we have to deduce the case that the line is not intersecting it touches the circle whenever a line touches the circle now the case changes what is due to the case second is line touches the circle suppose if a line touches the circle then radius equals to perpendicular distance c is equals to d value a b by root of b square plus a square you can leave it up to here or you can uh, simplify how we did in first year in the same way how we have to simplify check it out squaring on both sides c square equals to a square b square by b square plus a square this is c square by 1 1 by c square equals to b square plus a square by a square b square so 1 by c square is 1 by a square plus 1 by b square no need to do till that you can stop it over here itself. Okay.